Good evening, uh, members of the committee. I am Hudson Nyhart. I am, I am here on behalf of myself and uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's who I'm representing today. Um, as we've gone through the discussions tonight, you probably have noticed a lot of the discussion was about rights, about values. And there's a fundamental question that I would like to ask each and every one of you here tonight um, that is fundamental to this discussion and should be fundamental to all of your legislative discussions. And that question is, why should we care? Why should we care? But on top of that, I would like to ask the question, why do we care? And I think the evidence of that is that we're all here today. We clearly do care. We're in a building that was built so we could be in meetings like this, showing that we care. And the only logical answer to that is that we are all created in the image of God. And that is how we can have these discussions on meanings and values. There's no other way to get to that. So we are all created in the image of God. I am, you are, and the thousands of unborn children that are murdered yearly in our state are also created in that image. And we need to rectify that in our laws. The laws that we currently have on the books do not have any way to ascribe the meanings to their justifications, to the values that they claim to represent. And so they're completely arbitrary. There's, there's no basis onto which those laws are legislating. And an arbitrary law, by definition, is an unjust law. And so we must have a basis for our laws. We must rule justly, and you are accountable to God to rule justly. If you have any question on what his statement is on the matter, there is a lovely memorial in the park across the street that simply states, you shall not murder. And so with that in mind, with our values being completely tied to being created in the image of God, we must rule justly and uh, HB 1079 would do that. So I would urge a yes vote on HB 1079. Thank you.